And I just wanted to ask if anyone else gets stressed out over spending money. Everything is temporary. I'm gonna go eat breakfast and maybe cry. Good morning, friends. Mercury's no longer in retrograde, which is great news. Henry, my boyfriend, has been visiting me here in LA over the last week, and he left yesterday. I woke up this morning with a full-blown cold, did not sleep well. I also started my period today. Just another day in the life. Went to Starbucks and got a medicine ball. I'm just sitting down to make some calls and do some emails and all that fun assistant stuff. Anyways, welcome back to the vlog channel. How's it going? I'm Cassie. Usually I live in New York, but I'm in LA helping my aunt. She's shooting a movie. That's the spiel lately. Um, if you're not subscribed, you should. I'm sick. So it's gonna be a great week. Oh, oh my God. I'm definitely sick. It's Wednesday. I just slept for 12 hours. Got NyQuil yesterday. Turned my light off at 8.15 and I just woke up at 9. Just gonna drink a ton of tea and buy my flight for Christmas. Oh, I look horrifying. I got out of the shower and put on my little ordinary chemical mask. I decided to concentrate it more just on the areas that I really need exfoliation because I actually get really dry along my jawline. I just spent 45 minutes probably looking a million flights with all my miles. I spent 110,000 miles, so I have 24 remaining. And I just wanted to ask if anyone else gets stressed out over spending money, even if that is what you saved the money for. The reason I got this Alaska Airlines credit card is because I knew I would want to fly home and visit my family after being in New York for Christmas last year. It was so, so awful. And I promised myself that I would find a way to make it back home for Thanksgiving and Christmas or at least Christmas. And so I got this mileage credit card with the sole purpose of using the miles to go see my family and use it around the holidays when airline tickets are so stupid expensive. It was expensive in miles too. It was way more miles than I would have spent on a trip. If I had not used miles, it would have been a thousand dollars round trip. I get this anxiety when I go to spend what I've saved because I don't even know why. Really hard to let go of, but I think that's part of adulthood and learning when to save your money and when to use it. And I'm at this deep time of uncertainty. And for the first month, it was easy to be optimistic about it. But now I feel like I'm starting to get floaty again oh uh, this happens every fall and it's um rough i'm gonna go eat breakfast and maybe cry goodbye also i'm on my period oh that's why that's why i feel so awful <laughs> i put on a big t-shirt and i had a big cry and i wrote in my journal now i'm gonna pop some dayquil baby actually i'm gonna start toasting my bagel first after living in new york for a year and eating those bagels these bagels are a different food. Grocery store bagels are not bad. It's just a different food. This is not actually Erewhon juice. It is a Indian stomach cure that my friend Ahan sent me because Henry had a stomach bug over the weekend. And I got him Pepto-Bismol, we tried broth, we tried everything. And nothing worked until Ahan sent us this recipe. It's literally water, lemon juice little sugar little salt it's kind of like lemonade i guess but you don't make a simple syrup you just mix it all together in a bowl i had a little leftover so now i'm drinking it because i'm sick i don't have stomach issues though thank god i'm doing this thing to myself in my mind this morning that's not altogether helpful where i go back and forth and i say do i have depression do i have situational depression do i have seasonal depression is it just my menstrual cycle or is it just a bad day or is it just a bad morning and i'm sick or is it a combination? I don't know. I don't know if it would be helpful to even label it. Because either way, I feel what I feel. Cheers. It's been an anxiety day. I came to Target to get a little serotonin boost and a little snack. I think I want a kombucha. I don't know what snack I'm going to get. I tried to pick something with substance so I wouldn't have a sugar crash. There are nuts in here. Your girl's body wants chocolate. Why is there just milk and coffee? Where's the kombucha? I forgot I have my camera. Dark chocolate espresso trail mix. I don't know if you can call this trail mix. I feel like if you were on the trail, this wouldn't power you through very much. Mostly I've just gotten chocolate. Although I am now realizing that these espresso beans, 
They still have caffeine even when they're not brewed, right? That might be the stupidest question. Me, a former barista, does not know. It does hit the spot though. Have a delicious day. Thank you, I will. Taste test. I've never tried this um, flavor before. Blood orange, carrot, and ginger. Mmm, it's very good. It's a ginger forward flavor. Sorry, I'm not looking at you. The sun's like right there. Me combines a health food with chocolate. Because you know what? You know what everything's about, baby? Balance. This right here. My cousin's in climbing right now. It's five o'clock. I just ran and got some cat litter. I've been trying to chase down these movers all day. It was very anxiety inducing there for a minute, but all is well, or at least all is better than it was. Making a few soups that I really like. Well, I'm listening to Sophia Kelly. Trader Joe's, um, or I also get Trader Joe's does have really good soups. Um, I just Googled my question about how much caffeine eating espresso beans gives you. Terrible news. Even though eating espresso beans means consuming less caffeine, the way the body digests beans gives more energy. Eating a serving size of 11 espresso beans will make a person feel like they finished drinking two cups of coffee. So that's awesome news at 6 19 p.m eating coffee beans rather than drinking may lead to more rapid absorption of caffeine through the lining of your mouth i've made mistakes you know what though i'm gonna be taking nyquil for my congestion before bed anyways while i do not recommend trying this at home i am optimistic it's getting dark so early it's literally 6 20 and it's already it seems like it's already getting dark Good morning. It's 6 43. I'm at my aunt's. She's headed out to the desert to do a scout today. So I am holding down the fort here. I have to take my cousin to school in about an hour. It's been really gloomy in LA all day yesterday and this morning it's still gloomy. It's not even seven yet. I know pickles. It's weird that I'm just talking to the camera. You're not used to this. <laughs> She's freaked out. <laughs> Don't worry about it, just keep doing your thing. Yeah, I can just acutely feel the days getting shorter. It just sucks. I feel like the older I get, the more aware of that I become. Obviously that happens literally every year. I don't know if it's being out of school or what, but I'm just more acutely aware of the daylight hours and also the weather. What would a Cassie Paulson vlog be? Out a Trader Joe's haul. I really just needed cream cheese, but I wandered around and intuitively picked up a few other things. I'm gonna make this little tomato tart thing for lunch. They're very nostalgic for me. It's one of my favorite Trader Joe's items. My mom used to make them for me as like an after school snack or after rehearsal snack. Just sorted out a couple of last people that I have been waiting for some information from. And my anxiety is abating, but I kind of have that, uh, I don't know, I still feel not 100%. I think it's just that's the mental health vibe for this week. I'm on my period. My cold is getting a lot better. Henry was here last week and now he left and I won't see him until December. I'm trying to get better at breathing into moods, even if they're not as fun. That's all you can do. Beating yourself up for feeling something is not gonna make you stop feeling it. Trust me. Just like a step at a time, a day at a time, and you'll get there. Good morning friends, Friday now. I woke up this morning pretty early because I had therapy at seven. My therapist is still in New York, so I tried to schedule an appointment for a time when I knew I'd be free, which just is early in the morning. And something I talked about in therapy was just how anxious I've been this week and how it's sometimes harder to be nice to yourself than others and sometimes like intrusive thoughts come up more and it's harder to remind myself that I'm proud of myself or that I'm doing my best. The voice at the back of your head just starts telling you all kinds of mean stuff. My therapist at the end of our sessions usually asks me what one thing that I want to focus on this week is being gentle to myself was what I said. I'm still feeling low, just tired, honestly. I think my body just needs a little extra rest this week. I just thought I'd come on and say, it's okay if it's harder to be nice to yourself at sometimes than others. And sometimes it's hard to get yourself to do the stuff that you know will help. 
like I haven't done yoga or meditated or anything like that all week. I've just kind of wallowed. I've written in my journal a couple times. Definitely cried a lot. <laughs> Good morning, happy Sunday. Uh, I'm feeling a little better now than I did the other day. Took yesterday to literally just be lazy. Took like 11 hours, read my book all morning. I'm reading If We Were Villains. My friend Kai recommended it to me a long time ago, but my library just barely got it on ebook. I'm about halfway through and it's pretty good so far. A lot of Shakespeare references, which fills my heart with joy. I had chatted for a while with my friend Duncan yesterday. It was so nice to catch up with them. I feel a little isolated here. I watched some old London vlogs, which was a fun trip down memory lane. Took it easy on myself yesterday, which was exactly what I needed. This morning, I am going to meet my friend Sarah. I don't think I've seen her since I was in high school. She has the most amazing shop. It's got candles, aromatherapy, room sprays, soaps lotions i believe most precious beautiful mugs I have all her stuff linked down below i'm really excited to catch up with her it'll be nice to just chat with a familiar face and this is the first time i've really put on a real outfit all week so that feels pretty good too i've just been wearing glorified pjs all week because i've been feeling like hell this was definitely a week of bad mental health just anxiety feeling really low some weeks are like that in the moment it's Hard, obviously because you you don't want to feel depressed but it just happens sometimes and I'm actually grateful that I vlogged this week because hopefully it shows you this too shall pass and I don't feel 100% by any means today physically mentally emotionally definitely I feel like I'm over the worst of it sometimes it's just harder to think happy thoughts and go through the motions and feel motivated and exert yourself and that's okay that is the rhythm of life and of emotion everything is temporary i also downloaded final cut pro yesterday which i'm really really excited about i've wanted to buy it for literally years i love editing videos so it'll just you know take it that next level thanks so much for watching sending you love and peace if you are feeling a little low this week i'm here for you i'll see you in the next one okay bye this right here